got an instrumental debuting at number 47 on WABC Swing and Sound Survey the week of April 18, 1961. Al Kiola with Bonanza. It's C-A-I-O-L-A. That's his last name off the United Artists record label. And uh, he was a World War II veteran. Fought. Well, he didn't fight at Iwo Jima. He was in the Battle of Iwo Jima in the Pacific Theater. He was a stretcher bearer. He could play anything. Western, country, country and western, pop, rock, jazz. And uh, he joined up with United Artists in 1960, and that's where he recorded Bonanza, the song that the instrument I'm going to play for you. This is really fabulous because this combines the orchestral arrangements by Don Costa with this Dwayne Eddy-like guitar picking. It's th Dwayne Eddy is all over this, that twangy guitar that Eddie, Dwayne Eddy played back in the late 50s, or, uh, late fifties, early 60s, and uh, he, he plays just like Dwayne Eddy on this record, which is pretty awesome. If you know rock and roll history, you probably know what I'm talking about. Dwayne Eddy, my goodness, one of the early rock and rollers from way back in the day, back in the late 50s. And uh, I think that's all i got to say. He put out 50 albums, at least 50 albums over his lifetime. That's Al Kiola, Al Kiola with Bonanza. Oh, one other thing about Bonanza, the television show, uh, Bonanza TV series, very successful. Uh, actually, I think as far as long-running westerns is concerned, it, it runs behind Gunsmoke. Bonanza first started, the TV stories, first TV series, rather, started in 1959, ran for 14 years until 1973. 430 episodes. Bonanza at number f uh, number 47 by Al Kayola.